Hey guys, it's Randy here at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at a latching D-ring. Essentially this gives us a lot of the benefits that we get from a standard D-ring, but it offers a gate on the side. As you can see, this gate's going to allow you to slide things in. Like we've just hooked our strap around here, but if you had a cable with a loop on the end, maybe you had a rope you were trying to go from one side of something to the other with, it's very easy just to open that gate, place it in there, and get it secured. Now with that latching gate, we are going to have reduced capacity compared to a lot of the other quarter inch D-rings like this. Uh, we've got one that doesn't have that gate. It offers an 800 pound safe working load limit, where this one's at 100 pounds. But I do think this is going to serve a good purpose, whether it's just using it to clip items up on to hang to get them up off the floor and out of your way whether you've got a cargo van or a truck and you want to have a quick connection point for rope or cables as you're securing items, I think this could be really good. But it is situational. We wouldn't want to use this as an all-purpose, heavy-duty style connection point because that's just not what it's designed for. It's going to be a lighter-duty application system, give you good service. It's got a nice yellow zinc coating on it. You can see that yellow zinc really helps to keep corrosion to a minimum. If this were just bare steel, it wouldn't take it any time at all to rust, but that's gonna be on our D-ring, our latch, and our base. And you can see it's also pretty low profile. Coming up off the ground, we're looking at maybe a quarter of an inch there, maybe three eighths of an inch, but as you're trying to roll things in and out of a trailer, in and out of a truck, you really don't see them getting in the way all that much. Overall, I think it's going to be a good connection point, and if you have a need for it, if you're in that situation where you need something that maybe isn't all that heavy duty but does have that latching gate, I think it'd be a really good choice. If I were going to use this, again, as I said before, as my go-to tie-down point for anything I might be putting in the trailer, I'd definitely be looking for something a little bit heavier. Now to get this installed, you can see we've got our quarter inch holes there. We're going to be using number 14 self-tapping screws. Just place it down where you want it. Kind of get it lined up there. Get that in and secure it on both sides. Now at 100 pounds safe working load limit, you don't expect to use massive size hardware, but you do want to ensure you're using it enough to get to that capacity. You can see that'll be able to slide in nice and easy. At that point, just get it secured down. 